Greetings. Welcome to my channel, View From My Desktop. We here at View From My Desktop like to show affordable hi-fi equipment that both sounds nice and is at a budget price. So let's get started. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. We really do appreciate all the support we get from you guys and, and the comments and everything. We, uh, that's, 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 I really like it. Okay, today we're talking about the, a, the Yima A07 Pro. We did one recently about the A07 Max. And this is the A07 Pro. And let's talk about this. Some similarities, of course. Um, one of the things similar, some of the thing, one of the things that's similar, they both can handle between 24 to 48 volts. Um, they come with a 36 volt, um, 6 amp power supply, so it gives you a nice power supply right from the door. Has some features like tone control. Um, they both have volume. It says tone control, um, Bluetooth, on and off switch, and this thing is big. This thing is big. And the back, probably buying proof. They're kind of small, but you know, they 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 got enough space to work on. On here it has a line out and this line out is controlled by the volume. It's not controlled by the tone, controlled, but it is controlled by the volume. So you can connect the subwoofer up to this here one, up to this line out and it will control the volume. Um, two inputs line in and it has Bluetooth. The main difference between this and the A07 Max is that the L7 has the mono feature that allows you to double the power by having two of them or just the power one speaker in mono mode. You can do that with the L1 Max. Um, but this one is great. It, 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 it's, it's, oopsie. If you're looking for a Class D amplifier and you're looking for clear, rich, full, and easy to listen to sound, this one is good for that. It comes with Bluetooth, it comes with tone control, you can adjust the sound and it, it doesn't feel like you're missing anything. Come on, it's, it, it, it sounds like all the music is there. It just sounds like all the music is there. Um, you get that with the with the Pro. I mean, you get that with the O7 Max also. But this one has tone control, so you can tone in the sound to your liking. On the A07 Max, I think I had it connected to uh, initially. The, the, initially, I had it just by itself. But then, as I played with it a little bit, I connected to a dad, I had to make it to a preamp, and I, you know, I did a lot of things with it, but, you know, and it's, it's the AO, the AO7 Max is good for that. It, it's just pure power, and you can just do stuff with it. It's just, it's just the power. This one, some of the features are already built in. The Bluetooth is built in. The tone control is built in. You can control the, the, the 3.5 with the volume. You know, it has those features. You're looking for those features. I think if you're more toward the audiophile side of things, you might like the A07 Max better because you're looking for just the power. If you're looking for something more complete, then you may want the A07 Pro. And um, that would be, I would think would be the main differences to me. You know, come with a nice little the manual here, like the manual here, and uh, 
plugs and that's it because it has a 36 volt um, 6 amp um, power supply you get you get all the power you need you know you can upgrade it with the 48 um, power supply and I think that's if you really it's probably gonna matter if you trying to power some maybe some larger tower speakers and some things like that you know um, I think this 36 volt uh, power supply is, is just fine for most applications I, I would think anyway it was fine for me and um, you know toggle switches you know on and off toggle switch Bluetooth and RCA and tone controls are smooth they're not sometimes you feel like a little indentions you feel these are really smooth turning um, they have a plus minus I think of 12 in here. I don't have it written down I think. Um, let's see if I can see it on here no I see it but anyway tone control my tone control you sit about right there and then I'll adjust it from that you know volume control it gets loud it definitely can get loud. And, uh, I don't think I had it. I might have had it back. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is another great amplifier. The great class D amplifier. Um, Bluetooth supports 16 to 24 bit, 41, um, 44.1. Uh, 48 kilohertz. You know, hey, this is 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 just good. It's just good. Replaceable op amps in here. You know, it, it comes with the any 5532 op amp, which is a pretty popular op amp. And you can get some. I think you know you can up. You know, compatible other 8 pin op amps, so you can. Change the op amp. I haven't really gotten to that this year. I mean, you know, I haven't gotten to changing the op amps. But anyway, great amplifier. Sounds nice. Um, maybe in the future I can do a side by side with the A07 Pro and the A07 Max. And uh, you know. See how they both sound with neutral. Alright. I think that'll be it for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.